Hello, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's trading session, the uh, 14th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, right, where do we stand? Asian markets overnight certainly finishing uh, positive or remaining positive, although they were negative at one point, but managed to finish positive towards the close. Uh, US markets remaining bullish, S&P bullish, Nasdaq bullish, even though it did have a bit of a, uh, a scare at one time, but it certainly maintained its bullish stance. Uh, you have the um, you have the uh, uh, S&P remaining in the Dow. Again, if I bring up the Dow, you can bring up the Nasdaq as well. If I just bring up the Nasdaq here, folks. It dipped as for 577, 70, 80, uh, before obviously it, it managed to push to higher towards the close. So, Impressive, impressive to say the least. That's the only way I can explain it or clarify it at present. Very, very impressive. Even the S&P, if you look at the S&P chart, folks, okay, uh, it's post yelling. It looks like we're going for that gap fill at 2453 and potentially even breaking to new highs. I mean, the weekly chart, it's very hard to argue against that week weekly chart, folks. I mean, we're certainly in breakout territory. So you have to respect the bulls. You have to give it to the bulls. The bulls certainly have the upper hand here on the weekly basis. The daily chart at the moment, it looks like they want to close that gap. On the back of obviously Yellen certainly surprising the markets and look at that rip higher I mean we had Trump impeachment sell-off here uh, obviously uh, Trump jr uh, potential uh, chaos sell-off here and then obviously a powerful reversal to the upside so impressive and that's all I can say that's the only way to best to describe it okay very very impressive even though you had a H&S formation look at this for a pattern here you had a, a, pure, a perfect H&S formation uh, was brewing as well you had the left shoulder here you had the head that was obviously confirmed here and then you had this bear flag and therefore we were supposed to flush and not potentially close all those potential gaps on the downside and what happened miss yellen certainly turned everything on its head so again the uh, somebody actually gave me the stat of uh, if you took every single long setup since 2006 you would have been a almost a millionaire and you would have been uh, very very uh, uh, lucky right now if you were buying the dip and obviously complacency certainly has been rewarded thus far Either way, this is where the, this is the status quo, and we just have to deal with it, okay? Uh, let's have a look at the uh, European markets and see where they stand. First of all, let's look at the econo economic data. Overnight, Japanese industrial production came in on the weaker side on a month-to-month -month basis, so again, negative. Uh, weak, weaker Italian inflation numbers this morning, and now we have the uh, rebuttal from the ECB arguing that uh, uh, Mr. Draghi will replace no specific date. ECB is said to be wary of putting end date on QE. Okay, uh, Italian trade balance actually came in stronger than expected and inflation certainly came in the weaker side and therefore it's a Goldilocks scenario for European equities and hence the reason why they're staying afloat. Okay, Euro still wavering or what, sort of hovering around that 1.14 level, we'll see exactly how that ends. Okay, but again that's a situation. Okay, in terms of the, for the UK 100, certainly your concern with regards to the Brexit bill. Okay, I acknowledge we're not the Brexit bill and therefore we see uh, sending uh, the uh, the actual uh, sterling higher okay so again on a potential soft brexit given the fact that they're acknowledging the brexit bill therefore uh, certainly helping sterling and sterling obviously is causing the FTSE 100 certainly to be subdued to a large extent even though oil prices remain afloat and remain strong at present you can see here sterling it is actually coming into resistance now on sterling so certainly looking for a potential reversal on sterling certainly look for one uh, that's what i'll certainly be looking for and searching for a potential reversal is on the cards okay so that's the status quo there in terms of uh, economic data from the us really to uh, to the european trade balance actually did come in on the weaker side though so bear that in mind uh, we are looking forward to Italian GDP numbers coming out shortly. I think they're already out. U.S. retail sales, okay, again, important. Retail sales, CPI data as well, uh, industrial production. Mr. Kaplan is speaking, and uh, you have sentiment, uh, consumer sentiment, business inventories, and that really will be the end, okay? So uh, a lot of tier one data, okay, for the U.S., again, uh, a market moving, and certainly will cause the dollar to move higher, so keep that in mind. Okay, so that's the status quo. Uh, in terms of the uh, equities and the indices and where they stand, you have a potential H&S uh, formation brewing here on the German DAX, so keep an eye on that on the 10 minutes. 60-minute chart, at the moment you have resistance here at uh, 12,670, and that certainly has held us far. 10-minute chart, we've already seen, you have a lower high, uh, right shoulder potentially being carved out here. 60-minute chart, you're into that 50%, so certainly indicating resistance on the German DAX. But having said that, given the fact that they've negated the QE story now, 
Uh, certainly no argument in terms of uh, sending the uh, European equities lower, so bear that in mind. Your uh, French CAC here at the moment, so again, still holding that resistance. Uh, we still, I, I thought we had Bastille Day today, but it isn't. Certainly, uh, French CAC is open. Either way, let's move on to the Euro stocks now. Let's just quickly look at Euro stocks and where we stand. Daily chart at the moment is into resistance, so watch out for that. 60-minute chart on the Euro, on the... Uh, <clears throat> On the 60-minute chart is indicating resistance again, but given the ECB story, given the light volume as well, given Bastille Day, certainly looking for trading for it to trade sideways. FTSE 100 daily chart, you have this bull flag formation, so keep an eye on that in the daily chart. 60-minute chart at the moment has retested the breakout zone and certainly bounced, so certainly bear that in mind as well. Uh, in terms of the 10-minute chart, let's have a look here. Certainly bounced off previous resistance equals support. Okay, on the FTSE. And you are now looking for a potential test at 7410. Uh, once we get to 7410, we'll test the break zone, breakout zone, and then obviously looking at 7415 as well as potential support. So keep an eye on that. Okay. Uh, again, in terms of Europe, uh, just bear that in mind. You have the situation or a scenario with regards uh, to uh, the latest report from the ECB. Uh, story doing the rounds from Reuters citing sources 14 to July. ECB reluctant to specify when QE purchases will fall to zero. Likely to seek flexibility in eventual cuts to program sources familiar with the discussion. The Fed has does the most, etc. 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 So again, certainly the pushing back on that QE story. So it'll be interesting to see how the markets trade. Nevertheless, that's the status quo. Watch out for resistance on the FTSE at 7410 and 7415 and potentially even retest the higher of the day at 7.420. So FTSE is certainly lagging its pace, and it certainly needs to pay catch up on the upside, so bear that in mind. Okay, so I think that's really that really is a summation. Uh, in terms of the German DAX, just keep an observe, uh, keep an, a keen eye on there. Keep observing. The 10-minute chart is showing you a lower high, so again, that certainly needs to be taken into consideration. Okay, I'm not going to go into detail with regards to that. So again, uh, let's see how the market unfolds. Given the fact that we are looking at a light volume as well, it's going to be very hard to really get some concerted effort, unless obviously the uh, US data really does uh, uh, obviously trigger the volatility. Either way, that's the status quo. Well, I wish you the best for the weekend. Um, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.